Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're gonna bring the two best home improvement companies in America, Home Depot and Lowe's. We're gonna compare them to each other to see which one might be the best investment for us in the future to add to our dividend portfolio. They both pay pretty sweet dividends, one of them is actually a dividend king. That means they are in the S&P 500 and they increased their dividends over the last 50 years. I'm gonna explain which one of those companies are dividend kings as long as you stick through to the end of this video. So go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100 and receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600. Who knows, you could both receive Home Depot and Lowe's just for signing up for Weeble and depositing $100. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. So as you guys know, Home Depot and Lowe's, they're pretty much, they do the exact same thing. They do the exact same thing guys, but we're gonna go back and see which one performed the better over the last 10 years. So we're gonna back test both of these companies to see which one has performed be better through a pandemic and a recession to see how would it influence us to invest into these companies in the future? So let's take a look at a little difference of between the two companies, right? So a very obvious difference between both stores is the concept of their products. Home Depot has the do-it-yourself furnishing concept, while Lowe's tends to target professionals, mainly like interior designers, carpenters, plumbers, and so on. So Lowe's was established in 1964. It has been growing massively ever since. It has managed to take rank as one of the leading furniture stores. Currently, Lowe's have a bit over 2,150 stores all over Canada, the United States, and Mexico. And recently announced two big news. The first was cooperating with the company Woolworth Limited to create a chain of stores in Australia. The second piece of news was the disposal of all of its ochre hardware stores in their distribution centers. Now Home Depot, Home Depot started business in 1978, a little later than Lowe's. It carried the DIY concept since the beginning and it's been known with the famous slogan, you can do it, we can help, ever since. Home Depot focused on raising awareness of their clients by carrying out workshops that they refer to as clinics to give them the know-how of almost everything. These, these workshops went from sealing doors and windows for saving fuel to changing water taps and tiling floors. Home Depot currently offers classes free of charge to its clients. Needless to say, this plays a major role in the growth of the business. Now, Home Depot aimed to go international, and indeed, that is what happened. That is what happened in 2006 by opening a chain in China. Now, Lowe's have been in business 38 years longer than Home Depot, so let's see how that plays out, and let's go ahead and pull up Seeking Alpha and dive into their dividends. Welcome back YouTube, here we are over on Seeking Alpha. This is Home Depot, Tickle Symbol HD. Uh, they are currently priced at the recording of this video at $283 even. They have a dividend growth over the last 11 years and they pay out quarterly. That means you get paid out at least four times a year every three months. Um, they have a dividend yield of 2.13% and you'll receive $6 for every share that you own of Home Depot. So over the year, they'll pay you out $6 worth of dividends. If we take a look at Lowe's, Lowe's tickle symbol is L-O-W. At the recording of this video, Lowe's is at $172.14. They have a dividend growth of 57 years. So like I told you guys, Lowe's is the dividend king that I was telling you about. They have increased their dividends over the last 57 years. They also pay a quarterly, that means four times a year, and they have a dividend yield of 1.4%. And for every share that you own of Lowe's, you'll receive $2.40. So yes, you'll receive more in the course of a year from Home Depot in dividends than you will from Lowe's, but Lowe's is a dividend king. You know that they're not gonna cut their dividends anytime soon. That's shown that they've been through a recession 
in a pandemic and they still got their dividends growing. So let's take a look at the summary of both of these companies side by side. We're gonna go side by side on both of these companies. So over the last five years, Home Depot is up 126% and Lowe's is up 133%. So almost neck and neck. Let's scroll down and take a look at their revenue. So Home Depot revenue in February 2020 was $110 billion. And let's take a look at Lowe's. Lowe's revenue in January 2020 was $72 billion. So they're pretty almost close right next to each other. All right, so after looking at the two revenues of each company, let's go ahead and back test these companies and see how they perform over the last decade. Also, while reinvesting our dividends to see which company performed the best to help us make our decision on the future. So we're gonna go over to back test over on the portfolio visualizer. We're gonna do year to year and we're gonna start it over the last decade. So from 2010 to 2020, the last 10 years, year to date, yes. Let's say we had $10,000 to invest in 2010 and cash flow, none, rebalance, no, no rebalancing. Display income, yes, reinvest dividends. That's the whole point. There we go to see which one would be the better dividend company. And then here we go. Home Depot is HD, and then Lowe's is LOW, Lowe's company, there we go. We're gonna allocate 100% of portfolio number one to Home Depot, and 100% of portfolio number two to Lowe's. Let's change the names of these profiles. Portfolio number one is Home Depot, and portfolio number two is Lowe's. Let's get rid of portfolio number three and scroll down all right so when i hit analyze portfolio we're going to see how these companies perform over the last decade while also reinvesting our dividends and how much money will we be receiving in dividends today if we started back in 2010. so let's go ahead hit analyze portfolio and scroll down oh okay there we go all right so home depot if you invest in ten thousand dollars back in 2010 you will now have $123,000. In Lowe's, you'll have $86,000. So, all right, so from the very beginning since 2010, Home Depot is the blue line, Lowe's is the red line, and Home Depot have been outperforming Lowe's every single year through the ups and downs, through a recession, through a pandemic, and also ended up recovering from the pandemic to where they, they outperform Lowe's every single year. All right, so it's looking like Home Depot is the head winner so far, guys. Especially if you could turn $10,000 to six figures by one investment back in 2010 in just 10 years, that is amazing. Now, if we scroll all the way down, here we go. Back in 2010, we would have received $330 from Home Depot and $172 worth of dividends from Lowe's. Now, in 2020, just because Home Depot price has gone up so much now we will be receiving $1,983 every single year in dividends from Home Depot and $851 from Lowe's so yes Lowe's is a dividend aristocrat they haven't been increasing their dividends every single year but Home Depot has out been outperforming Lowe's to where there you will receive a lot more dividends from Home Depot than you would from Lowe's because they have a higher dividend yield even though they haven't been increasing theirs as long as Lowe's have. So let's go ahead and go back to see if a reincurring investment, not just one lump sum, but let's say we only had a couple hundred dollars to invest every single week into the stock market. Let's see if that would have changed our results at all, if any. So initial amount, let's just say we started off with $1,000 and we're going to contribute a fixed amount of $800 every single month. So I change that to monthly. So me personally, I invest $200 every single week. That's $800 a month. So this is pretty much my investing strategy. If I would have started this back in 2010, investing $200 every single week into one of these companies, how would my portfolio look today? So I'm gonna scroll down, hit analyze portfolio, and let's take a look and scroll down. All right, so there we go. So it's still pretty close, all right? With me investing $200 every single week into the stock market, I will now have $482,000 from Home Depot and $453,000 from Lowe's. The best year that Home Depot had was up 50%. The best year Lowe's had was up 42%. 
the worst year Home Depot had was down 7% and the worst year Lowe's had was down 4.87 percent so these these are two solid companies and, and and just looking at it from the outside in they look like the same company but it does look like for an investor for an investing strategy home depot is looking like the way to go over lows just based off the last 10 years all right now, all right youtube so there you go um home depot have been beating out lows over the last 10 years but make sure that you do your own research because Lowe's can have something in place coming up very, very soon that's going to give them a competitive edge over Home Depot. Or Home Depot could have some bad news coming out that can give them a disadvantage to Lowe's. Or it could be vice versa and then Home Depot just takes off even more. But as an investor with a limited amount of money, I need to find the very best stocks to invest into. Even if it is just neck and neck, I'm going to take the, the, the company that's ahead. And actually, so I'm thinking about actually investing into Home Depot over Lowe's. Yes, Lowe's is a dividend aristocrat. That's what makes it so great. That's what actually makes me want to invest into Lowe's over Home Depot. But when I'm looking at it and I only got $200 to invest, it's looking like I might want to invest into Home Depot. Actually, I know they're not dividend aristocrats. They're not dividend kings. But... For the return on my money is looking like i might have to take home depot for the lead let me know what you guys think what, what would you invest into down in the comment section leave a comment down below which company would you invest into if you already own them let me know which company do you own down in the comment section and when you're down there hit the thumbs up button it helps out this video more than you can even imagine i'm telling you guys just hit the thumbs up button please but yeah, also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.